Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lanolin, and we are back with episode 76 of my Modded Minecraft Let's Play series. And in this episode, I think we're going to focus on farms a little bit again. Um, I need to set up more potato farms, and I think to do that, I'm going to extend out this room um, a few more farms. Uh, I think I'm actually going to do four more farms in total. Whoa! A lot of farms. And uh, actually, three of them are going to be potato farms. And one of them is actually going to be a nether wart farm. Um, because if I want to brew a bunch of potions, I need a bunch more nether wart. Because all of the potions in Batania, just like regular potions in vanilla Minecraft, require nether wart. Um, and while I have an okay amount of nether wart, it'd be really nice to have like a nether wart farm going. So, of course, I can be a little bit frivolous with my potions <laughs> and make a whole bunch and just have them sit there and be pretty. Um, yeah, so this episode, I think that's what we're going to focus on. And to do that, we're going to make ourselves a bunch more harvesters, a bunch more, um, these guys, planters, and of course, dig out this big area. Um, now, I normally this would probably be something that I would do off camera, and I'm going to do the clearing out portion off camera, but because it's going to be a pretty significant build that's going to have a fairly, fairly large impact on our base as a whole, I figured it'd be worth dedicating an episode to. Um, because we might do a couple other things this episode. Um, one thing I'd also like to do is automate turning on and off this uh, system so I can actually start collecting a backlog of potatoes again. Because uh, at the moment it just kind of runs and runs and runs. So we're going to want to do that as well. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that, actually. Hmm. I wonder if I can just turn these red... Oh, yeah, I could probably just turn the redstone furnaces off, huh? Yeah. Because originally I was going to have them just backlog themselves, but at the moment... Mm, I don't really have any potatoes to backlog. And I like being able to turn stuff on and off. So, let me go ahead and clear out this big, huge space, get some stuff together, and then we will hook up this system uh, the rest of the way. Oh, I wonder if there's anything I can do with sludge. I'm pretty sure there's stuff I can do with sludge, but I don't know if it's anything that I really, uh, to be honest, care about. <laughs> we'll see. So I'll be right back. All right. So we are back, and I got tired of clearing this all out manually. Uh, so yeah, screw that. I remembered that the filler exists. Oh, yeah. Build craft more than just a quarry. So yeah, instead of me filling, or instead of me going through and doing this all manually, um, what I'm going to do instead is make myself a builder, and we could do this the modded Minecraft way. Oh yeah! So, um, luckily the parts we need actually aren't too bad. I think I will need to create another power cell though. Um, another one of these guys, except a small one. Probably, yeah, another one of these. I need like a hardened energy cell. Man, I really should just upgrade this line to the freaking enhanced energy conduits that way i have a better idea of how much power i'm using because <laughs> right now it's all kind of messed up by that energy cell being right there but that energy cell is kind of um working as a transformer if you will for that energy line so first things first let's build ourselves another energy cell it's easy enough to do i just want a little hardened one. Oh, so close what do I need? Redstone. I think I need a block of redstone. I think that's what it was. I'm kind of surprised I don't have a bunch of blocks of redstone. Energy cell. Yep. Nice. Got Electrum on hand. That's always fun. That's always a good thing. When you have Electrum on hand, it's like the best feeling in the world. <laughs> it's not hard to make. It's just one of those things that it's just like, oh, God, I got to go make Electrum. All right, let's see. Oh, no, never mind. I have to do this whole BS. All right, so cool. We got ourselves a hardened energy cell. Uh, we're going to need that to power the filler. Um, let's make ourselves a filler. Uh, pretty straightforward. Crafting table, chest, golden gears. Go ahead and make a couple golden gears. And filler. Wow. I don't have a crafting bench. <laughs> there we go. Filler. Boom. So the filler is really cool. It's basically going to clear out this big, huge area for us um, without me needing to do anything, anything at all, um, except grab some energy conduits. Uh, how much can you output? 800. So I don't need these. Um, actually, yes, I do need these. I only need a couple. Um, I am going to want some landmarks. I thought I had some landmarks, huh? 
two. Actually, is two enough? No, no, two's not enough. Because I need to uh, mark the ceiling. Okay, so the filler actually works very similarly to the quarry, uh, the ender quarry, which works very, oh, whoa, wrong way, which works very similarly to the build craft quarry. It all kind of goes off that same, that same style of needing the marks in order to mark, where, where am I going? Oh my goodness. There we go. Still not used to the whole polder thing. Also, I put this stuff in the way, uh, you know, in case of water. I started having some stuff mess up, uh, but the carrots are off, so the stuff is just kind of staying messed up. Oh, good. So first things first, I think what we want to do is... Ooh, actually, I forgot something important. We actually probably want to get two landmarks. There we go. And a lever. Wow, why do I have so many levers? What the hell? <laughs> why do I have like 45 levers? I have no idea. I'm sure somebody knows, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, like we did earlier with the Ender Quarry, we can put this down and do one of these. Hell yes. Um, and now we're going to actually use the landmarks for what their intended purpose was, uh, marking out the land. So we're making, I'm going to do four more farms. Four of the, these, all four of these farms are actually going to be potatoes, and I'm going to turn this potato farm into another word farm. Um, I'm just going to like completely transition it over the, to switch the sign out to... Nether wart, switch this guy to nether wart, you know, go from there. So anyway, um, how big do we want this to be? So we want you to dig out to there. And that would be pretty cool of you. And actually, I'm going to put you here. Because if I don't have to dig out the walls, that'd be pretty sick too. And it's going, it needs to be at least 18, because these are 9 by 9 So 18 with one space in the middle on each side. This one already exists. Actually, a lot of these sides already exist. So we could probably just do 18 in this direction. So what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Would be a bunch of gravel. 13. 14. 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's do an even 20. A nice even 20. Okay, so that's there. I want you to be... Um, wow. <laughs> there we go. Right there. That's going to be the roof. So this should be good to go. So now I should be able to break this. Right click that. Cool. He's set. Grab our filler. Nice. That's all marked out. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to charge up this energy cell. Just kidding. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it. Man, it's too bad I don't actually have a bunch more enhanced energy conduits. I could just hook this guy up right to this line. Um, but that's okay. We can still do something similar. I could charge this guy right here. Or not. <laughs> or just kidding. There we go. Nice. So this guy's going to charge up really quick. Uh, so we have some power to use for the filler. Once again, it's, it's too bad I don't have more energy conduits where I could just hook him up just like that. I mean, I guess I could. Ah, oh, screw it. By the time this is done filling, I could have already gone and got them and come back. So I'm just going to do it. Why not? Grab some conduits, grab like half of what's in there, and let's go. Not a big deal. We now have another conduit. It's always actually not, it's not a bad idea to carry around an energy cell with a bunch of power in it, because you never know when you're going to need a bunch of power. So now that we have an extra one, that will be pretty cool. So I want you to... Clear. Excavate. Yeah. Cool. Um, and something that you can also do is have him... Oh, shit. There we go. Um, something you can also do with the filler is have... I mean, obviously you can fill. Um, 
but clear is something that a lot of people don't realize you can do with the filler. Um, but you can do a bunch of different styles of clearing, which you saw there. And of course, you can fill it up. A bunch of cool powder, powder cool effects, too, that shoot off and they all land and clear everything out. Um, the filler has actually gone through quite a few changes over the uh, lifetime of a uh, build craft. Um, it was at one point the catalyst for an exploit which was kind of interesting. It was a really, really fast way to mine out places, as you can see. Um, and back in the day, it used to drop all the items that it would mine out. So it was a really, really cheap and effective way to just, like, almost... Not instantly, as it does take time, but it used to be really, really fast. Um, it's still pretty quick now. But yeah, it was really fast. It would drop a lot of items. So it, it was one of those, like, really cheesy ways to get a whole... Like, it was like a cheesy quarry, basically. Um... But now it's, it's pretty balanced now. You don't get the items back. It clears pretty quickly. You don't have a bunch of the crazy lag that used to happen back in the day as it would clear out items. Um, it's nice. Nice and aesthetic. Looks pretty cool as it clears out too. Way better than doing this all manual, manually. So what I'm going to do is actually go through and see if I can't get rid of all of these. Oh, whoa. I didn't realize that. We were like right here. <laughs> nice. So actually, I'm going to fill in these holes. Get rid of all this water. I actually got pretty lucky with the water under the ground. Um, normally, I run into tons and tons of ponds of water, but this time it wasn't as bad. Um, there's still a bit that I'm going to need to clear out, but I'll, I'll live. I, it's been worse. I've seen worse. Nice. Oh yeah, I'm also going to be able to use my wand of equal trade. I haven't really had a big prog project for him yet. And uh, now I got a big project. <laughs> nice. So that's going to clear everything out. I think I need to get some light going so I can see what I'm doing. So yeah, let me go ahead and clear out all of this water and I will be right back. All right. I'm back real quick because I want to try something. I want to see if this actually works. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I figured I'd try it. And uh, if I was going to try it, I'd try it on the camera. I'm curious if I dump lava on top of all the water, if it'll get rid of all the water. No. No, it doesn't. Well, actually, it might, but it's super slow, and it doesn't seem to actually kill the source block. It just makes stone. <laughs> Well, actually, let's see. Let's see how that works. Cause see, yeah, cause see, the filler is gonna kill all the stone. So if I let all this lava flow through, it might. Never mind. Screw this. That's gonna take forever. <laughs> all right. I'll be. Back. I want to see if that worked. I'd never tried it before, and I figured I'd try it with you guys. So I will be back. <laughs> okay. So I decided I didn't want to do this all by hand. Um, so what I'm doing instead is I'm letting the filler fill all this stuff up back with dirt, get rid of, get, getting rid of all of the water, effectively, and hopefully. Um, and then I'll just have it empty it all out again. So, yeah. I figured dirt would be fastest, but I didn't have as much dirt as I thought I did. So it looks like I'm going to have to grab a bunch of cobblestone. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, again, still better than doing it all by hand. Although I will admit... Actually, here we go. I can use gravel. Still better than doing it by hand. But it's taking a little bit longer than what I've kind of expected it to <laughs> but that's okay all right let me clear all this freaking water out and i will be back and then we can uh, hopefully this time actually get to building some farms all right so while this guy does his thing he seems to be almost done i'm gonna give him a few more dirt to fill in because he hasn't actually got to the important bits yet. <laughs> um, I figured it would be a good idea to use my time wisely and start transitioning this potato farm over into another wart farm. And that should be as simple as clearing all this stuff out, switching it to another wart, and putting another wart in there. Nice! Hell yeah! Dude, gotta love Mine Factory Reloaded. Makes uh, like makes a lot of things very simple. Now, for some people, that might be kind of eh. And to me, I kind of agree to a point. But when, in situations where you're trying to do very large builds that involve a lot of lot of resources, Mine Factory Reloaded has got your back. So this guy isn't quite done. Damn. Almost enough resources to, to fully get it out. Um, so anyway, this guy is going to be Nether Wart now. Let me switch you to Nether Wart. 
on, of course. Um, now, this guy is right now hooked up to that another wart container, but that'll change. I'll, I'll switch. I'll add more containers um, for potatoes. And yeah. Or I might not actually add any any containers. Eh, no, I'll add some. It'll be good to have a backlog. So anyway, this guy is still isn't quite done. So I'm going to grab more dirt, let this guy do his thing. Come back, and we might have to actually end up the ep ep in the episode, which would be unfortunate. No, not yet. We're still good. So yeah, we'll come back and hopefully be able to build ourselves some cool, cool farms. Dump these poisonous potatoes. All right. Nice. It did a fantastic job. I can hear all the monsters spawning already. <laughs> um, but man, you know what I should have done? I actually should have left the walls up because I forgot I've got the wand of equal trade now, which would have made it really, really easy to convert all the walls to these dark oak wood planks. Or what are they? Large, long, dark oak wood planks. Okay. <laughs> long ass name is what they're called. Um, but it's okay because we can still do the floor. And the floor tends to take a really long time anyway. Um... I hear the zombies walking around. Where? So spook, man. You know, actually, it's probably because it's dark outside. Let me go sleep. And actually, I can check on... Yes. I'm making a whole lot of en enhanced energy conduits, item conduits, and... Um... Hey, where's my... Huh. I was also making... I I'm making a bunch of... Much more conduits, because we're going to need actually quite a bit. <clears throat> but I, I thought I made some of this insulated redstone... Oh, I did. Nice. Okay. Just making sure. So let me actually get this together really quick. And boom. This might not even be enough, actually. Because, again, we're making four... Four freaking farms. Quite a lot of farms, actually. I'm going to need a lot of resources. I've actually been doing quite a bit of work off camera. I had to run to the nether and grab some glowstone so I could make the uh, energetic alloy. Yeah. Been doing quite a bit. I'm surprised I still have conduit binding, actually. Nice. Okay. Cool. Well, let's get started. One thing I wanted to do, though, is go ahead and change these guys on over so I can do my wand of equal trading. Dark oak wood panel. Which one is that? There you go. Right there. Let's make a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. I also had to go chop down a bunch of dark oak wood trees. <laughs> So, yeah, a lot of, lot of manual resource grinding like a pleb, but that's okay. That is okay. I could have used Batania, actually, to get more glowstone, but I decided not to. I decided to just go grab some glowstone. Not a big deal. So, here we go. Our first, our first real use of the Wand of Equal Trade, which, okay, it should be in there. So, what we want to do is turn everything into dark oak wood planks. So, we want to right-click on there. On the top left, we can see we have it selected or targeted. And, okay, good, you're empty. And we should be able to just right click. Hello? Oh, wrong ones. Haha! -ha. There we go. Nice! So, yeah, I can just kind of run through and just. And it, uh, it only changes the blocks that are exposed to air. Um, so, keep that in mind when placing them. So, if, for example, you're doing this like above a cave. You might run into some, uh, some issues. But see, as you can see, it only did the ones exposed to air. Hell yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. So I gotta turn some more of these guys into the dark oak wood panel. I'm pretty sure it's the panel. Yeah, nice. Now, as you use the one of equal trade more, it'll become. Uh, easier and easier to use it like the best way you can like efficiently I guess is the words I'm looking for uh, but that's okay <clears throat> it's really easy to just go back and be like oh man I messed up just switch it back to cobblestone or whatever and swap it on back so where is my there it is I kinda wanna light this up a little bit <laughs> it's a little dark nice Okay, so I can get rid of this because this is kind of throwing off the whole look of the room. Um, and I guess what we can actually do for now, we're not going to be able to, I don't think we have enough time to hook everything up um, this episode, but we can at least get started. I can move my filler. Thank you, filler. You were fantastic. Remember, guys, build craft more than just a quarry. 
Uh, I mean, we've seen that like a lot this this series actually. The many uses of build craft. And there are still many more things to come. So what we can at least do this episode is get the dirt down, get the farms all laid out, and go from there. Okay, so we want to make another 9x9, nine nine, of course, because that is the most efficient farm you can do. With uh, just one single source block of water, at least. So I'll close you up, get rid of all this stuff. And I think what I'm going to actually do is... Do I want to face these guys all the same way? Huh. I was kind of... I was kind of sticking to putting the farms up against the walls, but this guy kind of isn't up against the wall anymore, and he's going to throw off everything. Um, I mean, I guess I could just leave him there. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I'll just leave him there. Screw it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and make sure I leave some space for maintenance. So I'm going to try and do this as, like, as efficiently as possible. So speaking of that, let me let me go ahead and grab some dirt, kind of get my inventory cleaned up, and I can come back and we can uh, finish this up and then close out the episode. All right, so just finalizing up uh, just a few things. Everything's nice and dug out. I went ahead and grabbed some more wood and grabbed some dirt, and I'm just kind of going through and kind of getting the layout going. I dug uh, a few paths just to make the wiring and everything a little bit easier, and I figured I would do the last bits with you guys. Nothing too terribly difficult, just kind of digging my way out to make it a lot easier for uh, us in the future, because next episode, I think what we're going to do, we're going to come back, of course, and uh, we're going to set up the planter and the harvester. Got to set all these guys up. Wow, does it really trip right here? Oh, man. Might have to do something about that. Oh, actually, no. When I put the ceiling in, I won't see it. So, yeah. Um, between episodes, I'll probably put the uh, yeah, I'll put the walls in. I'll put the ceiling in. Make it look all nice. Kind of make it look just like this over here. I think I'm going to leave the luminizers where they are. I don't think there's any need to extend. Well, I might extend it one more length. Just so it goes to, like, almost the center of the room. I think that'd be cool. So, I'll probably do that. So, anyway. Uh, let's get this dirt down. All this crap floating around because of all the dirt in my inventory. I mean, you know, it would be a really nice thing to have the builders one. That's definitely something that I should look into getting here pretty soon. Oh yeah, and I can put all this dirt down actually because uh, I made sure it was too too high, so I can walk around down there. Yeah. Too thick, too, too deep, whatever you want to call it. There's room for me to walk around, you know. Alright, so that's the center. Alright, put down the rest of this dirt. Fun, fun, fun. So yeah, we're going to have a ton of potatoes after this, which is going to be nice because, I, like I said, many, many times so far, man, I really want to make some Terra Steel armor. And, uh,. You need a lot of mana to do that, and we're, I'm trying to. I kind of. I'm kind of trying to do it with, uh, with kind of a weak mana setup as far as generating terra steel armor goes. Uh, most people have like much, much bigger, more complicated setups than this. Um, but you know, I'm trying to do what I can, man. I'm doing it my way, and I like. I like my way. My way requires me to have a ton of potatoes. So, <laughs> you know, everybody loves potatoes, right? Yeah. yeah. Last of this. Oh, actually, you know what I didn't do? I haven't dug out. Got to do this. This is important. This makes it a lot less of a pain in the ass in the future when we go to set all this stuff up. So, want to make sure that it is in place. Oh, and it did mark center. Like right there. I hear the spiders, man, and I know they know where I am. <laughs> That's why I hear them all. They're all right above me, like freaking out, like where is he at? Where is he at? I want him. I want his brains. I want his guts. You can't have my brains or cuts. Those are mine. Yeah. Did I do this over here? I could. Good, good. Place never butted down. Last bits of dirt. 
then I have to go through and hoe it all. I don't. I can't remember if they will actually, if it'll hoe it for you or not. I don't think it will. I think I had to go through and hoe it the first time. I'd use the one of equal trade, but I don't remember what the. Uh, I don't remember what the key command is to shrink down its size. So, just gonna do it manually. No big deal. Okay, there we go. We have all of our farms in. We got this last guy that needs to have all his dirt put in. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Oops. Um, actually, you know what I can do? I can go ahead and put the harvesters and planters down. I can worry about that off camera. So, planter, you're going to go cobblestone. You are, like, actually in my face. Let's get some stuff out of here we don't need. Don't need that, don't need that. Uh, probably need this, actually. Don't need that. And I literally threw this down here. <laughs> Alright, no big deal. So, eh, eh. As always, the planters go. Just like that. And... Just like that, right? Yeah, alright, good. Good, good. Planter. No, come on, now. Nice. Whoops. And planter. Cool. So we got our four planters in. Um, just like we did over here. They don't need to be in any particular orientation or anything. Just make sure you got consume stack off. Now what's nice is I actually have like a good chunk of... Uh, regular potatoes in my applied energistic system. So we'll be able to get these farms going relatively quickly. Um, I don't I don't think I'm going to have enough time to set everything up on camera. I think I've wasted too much time putting dirt down. And uh, yeah. Yep, we are a little bit over time. So uh, let's do this. Let's let's finalize this stuff up. Let's get these Let's get this dirt down. Let's get everything nice and lit up and then we can wrap up the episode. Nice. Yeah, I gotta break this guy. Cool, cool. Um, and then right here is where we're going to have our harvesters. Oh, I gotta face the wrong way. Harvesters. There we go. His mouth needs to be facing. He's gonna. His mouth needs to face the plants. You know, he's gonna eat the potatoes. <laughs> okay. Why do I only have? Oh, that's right. As soon as you put them down, they get like metadata or something. I don't know the exact terminology, but once you place down a harvester, they don't stack anymore because there's like data associated with them at that point. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So we got our harvesters down. We got our planters down. This guy is kind of like in an awkward spot. I might move him. I might just go ahead and leave him where he is. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how hard it is to actually adjust this guy's location. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I have been Lanolin. I am about to starve to death. Just kidding. Um, this has, of course, been episode 76 of my Modern Minecraft Let's Play series. Next episode, we're going to finish up these farms, get ourselves a huge supply of potatoes coming in, so we can, of course, generate a huge supply of mana. I went ahead and put the other redstone furnace back down, because, I mean, that's what I'm going to use it for. And especially once we have all these potatoes going, five farms, or four farms of potatoes, I think, is going to do a pretty good job at generating uh, plenty of mana on demand. Now, obviously, we're not going to, we're not going to have too much mana, too much more mana with all these farms just because we still only have the five droppers. Man, I missed every single ledge going down. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, we're doing pretty good. Got a nice big backlog of baked potatoes anyway. Got our cool potion stuff set up. So thanks for watching, guys. I have been Landolin, and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh man, look at all the nether wart we have now. Nice. See ya. I'll see you next time. Bye.